Welcome to the public information meeting for the Cortez Road or State Road 684 bridge replacement design project with a financial project ID number of 430204-2. There are two options to participate in this public information meeting. In person on January 31, 2023 at Kirkwood Presbyterian Church in Frangle Hall located at 6101 Cortez Road, Bradenton, Florida, 34210, or online from January 24, 2023 through February 10, 2023. The purpose of the public information meeting is to review design activities, including the bridge, roadway, and aesthetics, and to receive public input. The Florida Department of Transportation, or FDOT, has complied with various non-discrimination laws and regulations, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act and related amendments. The public meeting and project are being conducted without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns related to FDOT compliance with Title VI may do so by contacting either Cynthia Sykes, the FDOT District 1 Title VI Coordinator, or Stefan Kulikowski, who is the State Title VI Coordinator for FDOT. Both can be reached as shown here. This public meeting was advertised by using several techniques that included the project newsletter, which was emailed to elected and appointed officials and mailed to property owners within 300 feet of the project right-of-way. Advertisements in the Bradenton Herald and Florida Administrative Register and notices posted on FDOT websites. A news release was emailed to local media outlets. The project limits for the Cortez Road Bridge Replacement Design Project begin at Gulf Drive or State Road 789 in Bradenton Beach and ends in Cortez at 123rd Street West. The project is located within Manatee County. The existing bridge consists of multiple concrete fixed approach spans plus a steel movable bascule span. The typical section includes one 12-foot travel lane in each direction, separated from the 5-foot sidewalks by a 9-inch wide brush curb. The existing bridge was constructed in 1956 with an intended design life of 50 years and has had ongoing maintenance and repair projects over the past 20 years to keep the bridge safe and operable. Despite these repairs, the bridge continues to have low sufficiency ratings and it remains functionally obsolete. Based upon the age and condition of the bridge, the Project Development and Environment, or PD&D, study evaluated bridge replacement options. The PD&D study began in 2013 and was completed in 2019. The study evaluated potential bridge replacement alternatives along with the no-build alternative. The study recommended the high-level bridge replacement alternative move forward into design. The Federal Highway Administration environmentally cleared this recommendation with the location design and concept acceptance in September 2019. Design began in October 2019 and is ongoing. 30% roadway plans were submitted in April 2020, with 60% roadway plans and 30% structures plans submitted in October 2021. The 60% structure plans were submitted in August 2022. The Bridge Aesthetics Committee met nine times with the project team from August 2020 through November 2021. The proposed bridge will be 2,930.5 feet long and consists of 19 spans. By comparison, the existing bridge is 2,616.5 feet long and consists of 53 spans. 
The new bridge will be located north of the existing bridge, with horizontal curves introduced at each end of the bridge to bring the alignment back to match the existing alignment. This northern alignment is consistent with the approved PD&D. A minimum vertical clearance of 65 feet will be provided over the 100-foot wide navigational channel that is delineated by a fender system. On the west end, the minimum vertical clearance is governed by environmental considerations for bridges over waterways containing high chloride content. On the east end, a minimum vertical clearance of 16.5 feet will be provided over the reconstructed 127th Street West. The roadway grades have been optimized to have the touchdown points occur as quickly as possible while complying with the Americans with Disabilities Act requirements. Construction along the west end of the project includes reconstruction, widening, and milling and resurfacing. In the westbound direction, the roadway will consist of a 12-foot wide southbound left turn lane, an 11-foot wide northbound right turn lane, and a 6-foot wide bike lane. In the eastbound direction, the roadway will consist of an 11-foot wide through lane, an 11-foot wide lane allowing northbound Gulf Drive traffic to merge onto Cortez Road, and a 6-foot wide bike lane. Except where right-of-way constraints exist, 10-foot wide sidewalks are located on both the north and south side of the road behind either guardrail or barrier wall. No right-of-way acquisition is needed along the west end of the project. There will be three stormwater management facilities, or SMF, located along the southern right-of-way. SMF 3-1 will be located in front of the Bradenton Beach Police Department. SMF 3-2 will be located in front of the Bradenton Beach Marina. SMF 3-3 will be located in front of Bradenton Beach Marina, extending underneath the first span of the proposed bridge. The existing sidewalk located along the northern right-of-way in front of Bridgeport Condominiums that passes underneath the existing bridge to the southern right-of-way in front of Bradenton Beach Marina will be relocated to accommodate SMF 3-3. Roadway construction will occur in two primary phases. In the first phase, the northern portion of the roadway will be constructed while existing traffic will be maintained. In the second phase, traffic will be shifted onto the portion of the roadway built in the first phase while the remaining construction is completed. Once this second phase is completed, traffic will then be placed in its final configuration. Improvements to the Gulf Drive and Cortez Road intersection are not included in the project scope. A future project will evaluate alternatives for this intersection. Meetings with residents of the Bridgeport Condominium Association, as well as officials from the City of Bradenton Beach, have taken place to discuss the project objectives. Construction along the east end of the project includes reconstruction, widening, and milling and resurfacing. The roadway along Cortez Road consists of an 11-foot wide travel lane and a 6-foot wide bike lane in each of the eastbound and westbound directions, as well as a 12-foot wide left turn lane. 10-foot wide sidewalks are located on both the north and south side of the road behind either guardrail, barrier wall, or a raised curb. A new road, Hunters Point Way, will connect Cortez Road to 127th Street West. The roadway will have 11-foot wide travel lanes, 5-foot wide bike lanes, and 6-foot wide sidewalk. Hunters Point Resort and Marina will have a connection to Hunters Point Way and Cortez Road. There is one SMF on the east end of the project, and it is located north of Cortez Road and adjacent to Hunters Point Way. Right-of-way has been acquired to construct Hunters Point Way and the SMF, and to allow for maintenance access.
Roadway construction will occur in two primary phases. In the first phase, Hunters Point Way and the SMF will be constructed followed by the northern portion of the roadway while existing traffic is maintained. In the second phase, traffic will be shifted onto the portion of roadway built in the first phase while the remaining construction occurs. Once this second phase is complete, traffic will then be placed in its final configuration. Meetings with Cortez Park, Tide Tables, and residents of Mariner's Cove condos have taken place to discuss the project objectives and coordination has occurred with Hunters Point Resort and Marina, which is currently under construction. The rendering on the left is looking east from 127th Avenue West in front of Cortez Park and Tide Tables. This view shows the last span on the bridge and highlights the bridge railing, retaining wall aesthetic enhancements, landscaping, and an 8-foot wide sidewalk providing access from 127th Street West to Cortez Road. The rendering on the right is an elevated view from above Cortez Park, looking to the northwest. This view shows the area underneath the end spans of the bridge and the spacing of the aesthetically enhanced piers. The new Cortez Bridge will have overall width of 68 feet 3 inches, two 12-foot travel lanes, two 10-foot shoulders, and two 10-foot sidewalks. The roadway will have two 11-foot travel lanes, one lane in each direction a 6-foot bike lane on each side of the roadway, and a 10-foot sidewalk on each side of the roadway. One of the commitments from the pd and study was to establish a bridge design committee. The commitment states, the FDOT is committed to establishing and working closely with the bridge design committee during the design phase to advise the department on aesthetic features for the bridge and approaches. Members of this committee will be determined by local agencies and the community during the design phase. In addition, a portion of the project construction budget will be dedicated for landscaping. As the project's design phase began, the Bridge Aesthetics Committee, or BAC, was created. The BAC has 11 members with representatives from local neighborhoods, Cortez, Cortez Park, and Bridgeport condos, businesses, Room with a Hue, Seafood Shack, Tide Tables, and Bradenton Beach Marina, and the Mayor of Bradenton Beach. The committee reviewed aesthetic options for the bridge and roadway, providing input as the group made selections. Here are the highlights of the BAC recommendations. Nine pier styles were initially considered, and the BAC selected a multi-column pier with cheek walls. Nine pedestrian railing alternatives were initially considered with the BAC selecting the wave infill pattern. The BAC members selected the following color palette for this project. Blues for the railings, sand or tan for the bridge and piers, and white and off-white for accents. To ensure color consistency, this color palette will be matched with 595B Federal Standard Color Book which is used to specify color finishes for FDOT projects. The BAC initially reviewed three overlook options and selected the rounded, open overlook shape without benches. The BAC also recommended that there be information plaques at each end of the bridge. Content will cover the Cortez Fishing Village, Bradenton Beach's history, and the storm of 1921. To date, no decisions have been made about plaque content and style. As lighting options were developed, the BAC reminded the project team to address lighting requirements during turtle nesting season. 
Several peer lighting options were considered, including three faces only, inside faces only, and no lighting. The BAC selected the outside faces option. For roadway and pedestrian lighting, two concepts were initially considered. The BAC selected the lower decorative light poles. There will be retaining walls at four locations, two at the west end of the bridge and two at the east end of the bridge. These walls serve as transitions from the bridge structure to the roadway. The BAC selected a subtle multi-level wave pattern that complements the wave infill pattern being used for the pedestrian railing. After reviewing two primary landscaping options, the BAC selected the low-level natural groupings. In addition, plant selection will need to consider the coastal setting as well as overhead and underground utilities. Throughout the design process, the project team held several small group meetings. In addition to the nine BAC meetings, the team has met with Cortez Park and Tide Tables, Mariner's Cove Condos, City of Bradenton Beach, Bridgeport Condos, and the Sarasota Manatee Transportation Planning Organization's Board and Committees. FDOT values your input, and there are several ways you may share your comments about the Cortez Road Bridge Replacement Design Project. If you are attending the meeting in person, you may complete a comment form and return it tonight. You also may email or mail your comments to Ryan Weeks, the FDOT Project Manager. Online comments may be submitted at the project website www.swflroads.com slash project slash 430204-2. Once there, you may click on the Send a Comment or ask a question about the Project tab and type in your comments or questions. While comments about the project are accepted at any time, please submit your comments by February 10, 2023 to be included in the meeting summary. All comments matter, regardless of submittal format. The following activities remain after this public meeting. A meeting summary will be prepared, summarizing all written comments submitted by February 10, 2023. 90% plans will be submitted in summer 2023. Final design plans will be submitted in spring 2025. The project will be awarded for construction in summer 2025 and construction will begin in late 2025 or early 2026. For additional project information, you may contact Ryan Weeks, the FDOT project manager, by Mail at Florida Department of Transportation, District 1, P.O. Box 1249, Bartow, Florida, 33831-1249, or telephone at 863-519-2837, or email at ryan.weeks at dot.state.fl.us. Thank you for your interest in the Cortez Road Bridge Replacement Design Project.